And again, you sleep at all. Um, here's the story. Uh, yesterday, no, Wednesday, I caught my finger on a bat, heavy bat. Well, it wasn't that heavy, but obviously my finger was still weak after two years. My mum had to ask if she could go in there with me, because obviously I know as it's coronavirus, it's locked down, you are only allowed, you have to go in by yourself, but my mum got permission as I have bad anxiety attacks, and at the moment, my anxiety is like sky high. Yeah. I obviously went up to the hospital at around 4 pm. Um, saw the nurse at 4 05, and then I waited about 20 minutes to see another nurse well she seemed to be like a junior doctor I guess whether they have up um urgent care and I'm tired man I just wanna go to sleep but I can't it's a pain it wouldn't even be any medication I pain relief so much discomfort. When I was having an x-ray, she said, you've got a lot of metal in your finger, aren't you? And I'm like, have I? I've, I've been told I've only got a few little pieces, but it turns out I've got a lot, and there's a pin. So we went back to the waiting room to see wait for the doctor and she came out about 10 minutes later and told me that the pin has dislodged and i've broken my tape on my finger in the hospital the doctor put me in this which has really upset my finger as you can see as it's tremoring right now and obviously no noise. It's not nice at all. And it hurts as hell. And I've been um, referred to the fracture clinic. But that's for as of my finger has pins in it. The hand injury I'd done about when I was 13 um, has really affected me mentally. The Before the 12th surgery. But now it's going to me again. And it doesn't help with this lockdown. It's... And this tape smells like shit. <laughs> Um, I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to try not to sit.